Good morning. It is April the 13th, uh, 2023. And I'm coming before you with a word from Father God. But um, before I get started, I just want to encourage those that are being attacked by the enemy that you must be doing something awfully right for the enemy to continue to bring harassing attacks. Um, since uh, Passover, I have uh, the beginning of Passover, I have been attacked through fi uh, family members, um, <laughs> through uh, organizations, just different areas of attack. Even on my uh, this YouTube channel, someone left uh, ugly remarks that actually I think YouTube removed. But it just encourages me to keep on, even though I have the naysayers and those that would attack me for whatever reasons, I'm going to continue to speak the truth. And so I'm going to come out of Psalms, um, chapter 95, down at verse 7 and 8, and I'm going to read that. And it says, uh, for, his, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Um, the word that he gave me uh, kind of definitely goes along with uh, Psalms 95, 7, and 8 verses. Um, God is concerned about our walk with him. He's concerned about those that will not allow him to bless them. Those that keep their hands and their heart closed to Father God. And, and Father God is saying, let me in. But let me give the word that he gave. Uh, and then you'll see what I'm saying. He said, my, my daughter, I am ex accepting your fast and I'm honored of your commitment before me. This is what I have to say. I'm moving to make changes in, in how people communicate. The time is now for many to come before me with a heart of forgiveness and a heart to repent. My ways are not restricted, but they bring freedom for sin and a life of misery, from sin and a life of misery. Take some time and cover areas of doubt and disbelief. My people are not familiar with my ways to cover their lives and how I have all power to do whatever I please. I'm not in this world systems and gadgets. I have a kingdom of my own, which they n know nothing of. I desire for many to understand my ways and how all that I have can be theirs as they turn over their lives to me. I won't force them. They must come to me willingly, each and every one. I will receive them and move to show my glory to all that will. Many are not understanding because of what they perceive of me. I want them to know my nature how I desire all good things for them. They must open their heart and allow my moving to bring change to how I'm perceived. I won't turn away. I, I won't turn away. I will receive them all. And so Father God is here saying, for many of us, we have not accepted him in our hearts fully we have not accepted that he is our king and our father god our creator we have not accepted that he that there is a his kingdom and there's the kingdom of earth we haven't accepted in our hearts that everything that he is he has for us he's right here you, we, we many of us look at father god as being a a, a uh, a God that's fiction, that's either fictional or so far off that he's not present. And so I really believe that during this time that we're in right now, there's so much chaos and so much corruption 
going on um, in the earth, around the world. <clears throat> we, are, we are going to see, we have seen some disasters, horrific events, and we're going to see more disasters and horrific events. Um, there's famine that's coming around the world. There's going to be a shortage of food supply. Uh, the water supplies are going to be uh, become cont contaminated. Uh, we're looking at the stock market, the housing market, and the dollar collapsing. And so there's so many things that's going on right now. But one thing that we have to really understand, if we don't, that Father God is real. And that he is uh, from a kingdom. And we are a part of that kingdom. We're a part of his his uh, his life. He has selected us. He sent his son for us, a, for a ransom for us, his only son. And so for many of us that aren't sure about a, a, a God that you can't touch, that's not tangible, uh, one thing I can say is that if you give him a chance, he will show you who he is in so many miraculous ways. He will show you the, his power and his glory. He desires to give us more and more and more and more. Not only just more of him, but a rich lifestyle. He desires for us to come before him with an open heart and open hands. We can't come before him with a closed heart, a hardened heart, and closed hands. We can't receive. But there's so much that God has to give us. And there's so much that he's getting ready to give. And so I'm just saying that for any and every one of us that may question or doubt that he is uh, not working on your behalf, he is. And he's going to show you very soon his power and his glory. We have to be a people that praise in season and out of season, as Paul, I think in in First Corinthians, uh, spoke of praying in season and out of season, Apostle Paul. And so, uh, it we 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 must pray when things are good and when things are bad. We must continuously pray uh, that we wait on God because we walk by faith and not by sight. If we're walking by sight, we would never be saved because it's a lot of times it's just that horrific. But we walk by faith and our faith lets us know that there is a God. If there's evil, the evil is very present. There has to be good. And if there is good, it must come from somewhere. And so Father God reveals himself in so many different ways. And if we just take out a chance to just Search out what that revealing is. We'll find him. We'll see his glory. We'll see that he is awesome and all that he say that he is. And I just want to encourage many of us today, as these days get harder, as they get more darker, he is arising. He's shining in, in darkness. He is allowing his uh, glory to be seen. We have to be patient and well-doing, just patient in waiting, patient in knowing that he's getting ready to do some awesome and mighty things. Um, I know that it looks rough because Father God knows I am one that walks by faith and not by sight. But I know that every um, opportunity that I have, he, he shows me himself. Every opportunity that rises up in my life, he shows me that he's real. He shows me that his, his love for me. He shows me that he's backing me on every side. Yeah, times get hard and we get disappointed. We get discouraged. But there's always that window of opportunity where Father God will show us I am Father, and I am all-powerful, all-knowledge, all-personal God. He will show us. And so just be encouraged. If you're being attacked uh, by the enemy in different ways, know that you must be doing something right and that Father God is is on your side, and he has our back. Um, 
that's really all that I have to say for today. And that just be encouraged. Uh, times are going to get a little harder. But Father God is getting ready to show up and show out. Just keep your heart. Don't faint. Keep your eyes on him. He's getting ready to show up and show out. So until the next video, I just uh, pray that you have a blessed Thursday. And uh, until the next video.